Auntie Anne started in farmers markets 30 years ago. We're celebrating our 30th birthday this year. And when Anne first ventured into the mall space and the retail space, that was not really part of her original plan. It obviously worked out really well for us, but now we're ready to look at what's next for the brand. And we've already begun to dabble in airports, universities, train stations, travel plazas along turnpikes. And we're also checking out some street side locations in the Bronx, in Manhattan, and in other towns around the country. Great opportunities for us to continue to build the brand and continue to provide pretzels to the people. Well, Macy's is an iconic location here in, in Manhattan, and so it's really important for Auntie Anne's to be part of such a wonderful, iconic location where tourists can come and enjoy the pretzels, along with the locals who also love our fresh pretzels. So we look for foot traffic when we're looking at new locations. We also look for density of people, and we look for opportunities um, to do catering and to do third-party delivery. So all those things play into when we're looking at finding a new space for Auntie Anne's. So the Auntie Anne's aroma is one of the things that we're known for. People are always say, I could smell your pretzels before I could actually see them. And that's because we're freshly baking pretzels in our stores all day, every day. We've got a really wholesome, made from scratch product that we're preparing for you, putting into our ovens and baking with love, which is what generates that smell and that amazing aroma all over, all over town. We really work hard at making sure our crew members that are the frontline marketers for us, they really have the hardest jobs in the business. We make sure that they are really valued and honored. And we also help them understand that they're part of something bigger. So we do a lot to help connect our crew members to the Auntie Anne's mission, which is to give back in our communities. And our crew members really seem to relate to that, and they like being part of an organization that gives back in the community, that does good for others. Uh, that was Anne's original mission when she began the company. We continue to honor her legacy by doing that. And that really does help us a lot with crew retention, because you feel like you're part of something bigger, you're part of an organization that's 1,300 stores strong in the, in the United States additional 700 stores globally. You're part of a really cool organization that continues to focus on the values that we've founded the company on many years ago. Right, Auntie Anne's began franchising many years ago. We are made up of more than 400 small business owners around the country, and they're really the backbone of our organization. When our franchises are successful, we're successful. We really work hard to collaborate with them and to partner with them to make sure that we're doing what they're hearing, we're reacting to what they're hearing in the field, and we're helping them understand the strategy behind the things that we're implementing here, in, here at the corporate office. Um, what we look for in an ideal franchisee is somebody that has an entrepreneurial spirit that also wants to work in the, in the, in the um, fold of the Auntie Anne's pretzels. So you're not necessarily opening Bob's pretzels or Sally's pretzels, you're opening Auntie Anne's pretzels. And you get the benefit of being a small business owner, making your own hours, making yourself the boss, while also being able to rely on the structure and the processes and the training and the systems that Auntie Anne's has put into place over the past 30 years. So we began catering at Auntie Anne's last year. We've more than doubled our sales already this year. We expect to double it again next year. It's been a huge growth vehicle for us and it allows us to take pretzels to the people. People love the unexpected delight of getting Auntie Anne's pretzels, mini dogs, nuggets, at birthday parties, office meetings, baby showers. We do a lot of weddings where people are providing um, our Auntie Anne's pretzel treats to guests as a way to delight their guests at their events. So technology is, is a key driver of our business and all other restaurant businesses today. We recently are re we're actually in the middle of a POS transition in all of our stores. It's a new, new iCloud-based technology that will allow all of our stores to better function with third-party delivery, with catering, with online ordering. That rollout actually wraps up at the end of this week and we'll then have more than a thousand stores on that new platform. It will give us a chance to continue to grow our brand, to better understand transactional level data, to better understand what consumers want from us, what their ordering patterns are, and how we can better serve our guests every day. It plays a critical role and it's really important for us as a brand to connect very transparently and authentically with our guests. 
They expect that, they want that, and quite frankly, they deserve that. So we do spend a lot of time and energy on making sure that our campaigns, our responses to their concerns, um, and how we react to what they're sharing about us on social media is really relevant on message and connects with our consumers in a meaningful way. We keep things fresh and new at Antienne's by constantly innovating, constantly reinventing ourselves. So for example, we initially sold pretzels and lemonade back in 1988 when Ann first started. We now sell pretzels, lemonade, lemonade mixers, frozen lemonade mixers. We sell nuggets, we sell cinnamon sugar nuggets, we sell pepperoni nuggets. We have mini dogs, we have pretzel dogs, we have pepperoni nuggets. We've got a variety of products that suit a variety of palettes out there. We continue to innovate. We launched uh, sriracha pretzels last year. This year we're doing a birthday cake LTO product for Auntie Anne's where it's Auntie Anne's pretzel nuggets with birthday cake topping, Ghirardelli chocolate and then, and then confetti sprinkles. And it's a lot of fun for our guests to be able to celebrate our 30th birthday alongside of us. The fact that we are celebrating our 30th birthday, we really feel strongly that we have a very strong brand in place with strong unit level economics and a really, really healthy franchise model that will allow us to continue to grow well into the future. Um, the, the dough itself, is an amazing vehicle for lots of different product ideas and the innovations that we have in our pipeline for launch in 2019 and beyond are really pretty powerful and will take the brand to a new level and we're really excited about that.